Hi, I'm Beth from Sew Country, and today is day one of the Sew Along in the JNR Edwards Facebook group. I'm going to have a link to the group in the description below so you can join us in the Facebook group to post your progress pictures and to chat about the pattern and also to find the fabrics that you're going to see in both of my projects. All of this is from JNR Edwards, the fabrics. The elastic is not, but everything else is. So what we are working on today is the Jot It Down pattern from K. Deal Handmade. This is a pattern I've made multiple times because it is such a great gift and parents love to buy it for kids at craft shows. So there is several ways to have the closures for this jot it down. I'm choosing to sew up the elastic version today because it is quick, easy, and I just find it really cute. So what you do is you insert just a regular composition notebook. These notebooks are about 50 cents to a dollar at your grocery store, and you have this really cute cover for this. So we have a zipper pocket, we have card slots, for kids, usually I suggest post-it notes or stickers for them to put in here. So let's talk about this pattern. Today, for day one, we are just going to be cutting out and interfacing all the pieces. That is all you're doing. So we're going to have one outer panel. The outer panel, panel is both the front and the back. It's all one piece. Let me show you what I'll be using and sewing up in this. I'm going to be using this fabric. So this is your main outer panel. You only need one of these. I am choosing to use cotton and I did interface it with a lightweight interfacing on the back. The second thing you'll need is your back lining panel. Let me go ahead and take out this notebook so you can see what that piece looks like. And this is labeled B. Your um, back lining panel is listed as B on your cutting chart. And it is this blue piece that you see the back here. For the bag that I'm sewing today, it is going to be this piece, B, right here. You'll need one of these. And again, I interfaced it with a cut. The second piece we're gonna look, back, look at is our back sleeve. That is this piece right here. This is what's going to hold our notebook back in the um, jot it down pattern. So when you open it up, you will see this piece right here. So for mine, it is going to be this piece. I need one of these, again, interfaced with a lightweight interfacing. My second piece is my zipper pocket panel. That is going to be this blue that you see right here. Let me get this out of the way this blue that you see right here. And that one's going to be this piece. It is going to be interfaced with the light weight woven interfacing. And it is marked as C2 in your cut list. Then we go down and we have our zipper pocket facing. Now you can't see this, it goes inside, but this is going to be mine. So this is what we will sew our box around and push it through. Okay. You need one of those. Interface it again. We need one of our little zipper pocket linings. I do not interface this one, so it's just cotton. No interfacing. It'll be what you see when you open your pocket. And the last thing we need is our card slots right here, and that is going to be this one for me. And again, it has an interfacing on the back and it is listed as E on the cut list. The only other thing you're gonna need is you'll need your zipper with a pull on it and you will need your elastic if you choose to use this method. You do not have to use this. You can skip having any closure at all and let it just be like this with no closure. There's an option for a snap and there's even an option for a zipper. Now, the pattern designer does have videos for this, so if you want to see the other options, you can watch her video. But for mine and my video, I'm just going to use this elastic piece and show you how to do that. So this is day one to cut out all your pieces, to get them interfaced, and have them ready to go for day two. 
So what you will need to do now is in the JNR Edwards Facebook group, go ahead and take a picture of your stack of your cutout pieces and post them on the link for this video in the event group and then we can get started and day two whenever I see you again. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see what materials you're going to be using.